which means that my name is Greg, and I am here for the preview of Minnesota United versus the New York Red Bulls uh, this Sunday, March 13th at Red Bull Arena with a scheduled kickoff at 6 p.m. Uh, coming into it, of course, Minnesota, we are coming off a 1-1 draw at the home opener against a very tough uh, uh, Nashville side. I think, I think personally, I think Nashville have been one of the best, uh, uh, as far as really, div uh, how they've done, you know, with their time in MLS, they really kind of studied how, where, um, you know, expansion teams kind of didn't go, you know, kind of the, the struggles they had and, they address they kind of address them right away and so it was a very you know about you know, like I said uh, in my instrument reaction you know it could have gone either way we really we really played you know we played really well um, in you know in 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 uh, in the harsh conditions um, the New York Red Bulls are coming off of a 4-1 uh, win away in Toronto. I think uh, with, uh, I believe, uh, Lewis Morgan got a first-half hat trick. Um, so, and, you know, it's two two game you know, two games in the season. Red Bulls are still unbeaten. Um, we all know kind of, you know, uh, the Red Bull way and, you know, kind of, you know, high press and, you know, uh, with, you know, and all their, you know, kind of clubs, you know, they have all, you know, all around the world, you know, Leipzig in Germany, Salzburg in Austria, New, you know, New York Red Bulls, I believe, uh, they have one in Brazil as well. Um, they tend to line up in a 3-4-2-1 uh, formation. Of course, we all know uh, the uh, high quality players they have, um, Lewis Morgan, Aaron Line, um, Frankie Amaya, and uh, the good old Minnesota native, uh, Caden Clark, who they transferred to RB Leipzig and then had to work their way up the allocation order to get him back on loan, even, um, which was, I mean, it, it is what it is. Um, so, you know, I think it'll it'll definitely be, you know, road games, especially against, a, you know, an, uh, an e uh, Eastern uh, Conference opponent. Um, you know, I think, you know, we need to take all the points we can. Um, as far as the injury report for Minnesota, um, Debassi, Fisher, Gasper, and Metinair are all questionable. Um, but I believe... Um, all three, uh, I think um, everybody was training besides Matanera was still rehabbing. Uh, 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 yes, uh, yesterday. Um, um, so that'll definitely be interesting to see how we do. Uh, I believe um, uh, he did say that O'Neill Fisher will travel, um, and he will be a game day decision. Um, uh, Bettner, I think he won't be Gasper. I think coming back after, uh, I think he was being subbed out in our last preseason game. Uh, I believe he was in uh, concussion protocol. So um, you know, we all we all know what that's like. Uh, Heath. Uh, there were possible, or he did say something about uh, maybe going to a three at the back or even five at the back, um, which I think, you know, given our uh, the options we have uh, in attack, um, you know, being able to play, you know, like players like Unu and, and Amaria, um, kind of uh, along with you know uh, Reynoso and. And those guys, uh, you know, I think that's kind of, that would basically have us play, I think, our best atta attacking. Um, but he says that we are not ready, that he don't think we're not ready for it. So with that, I am going to get into my starting 11 for this game. In between the sticks, Tyler Miller. 
um, it kind of sees um, he kind of says, you know, the the starting eleven picks uh, pick picks itself every single week, and it seems at the moment that you know uh, uh, Tyler Miller um, is going, but you know. It almost, you know, makes me with Dane and uh, his new contract and the report saying that, you know, we were shopping him uh, 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 this off season and we had uh, some clubs come in and, and didn't meet our evaluation. So that's definitely, I believe, something to um, that will definitely be interesting to see as as the season progress, you know, progresses and as we. Uh, you know, we get into especially the midpoint. Um, and then uh, my back line, um, I am uh, left back. I am going uh, with uh, Chase Gasper. Um, I think, you know, he's really good. Hopefully, you know, he he's good to come back from concu- uh, concussion protocol. But, you know, we all know, uh, you know, the how it how it all is with you know with concussions and and how it uh nowadays um but so yeah chase gasper at left back um my center back pairing um uh bakai debasi and uh michael boxall uh you know really i think you know they're really good uh with debasi kind of being able to uh you know when he's had to step in at at uh at left back and yeah you know you have michael boxall who you know that just such a down to earth and you know really command you know is really you know good you know we kind of starting to uh, really age but you know i think we have some really good young up and coming you know central defenders you know hopefully that you know in the you know next you know few years you know that uh you know we can start playing them and then um uh right back um if fisher is a uh, go for game day decision then i will pick on l fisher at right back um if he is not um I am going to go with uh, DJ Taylor. Uh, I know some people might say, well, you know, why don't you play, you know, Dotson? You know, that's kind of how he broke on, you know, uh, on the Minnesota when he was kind of playing left back. But, you know, he's more of a, a, a midfielder. And I'd, honestly, and I'd like to I'd like to see him play more as a, uh, uh, be, you know, kind of played a lot more as, as, a, as a midfielder. Um, so yeah, so, uh, if Fisher is, uh, given the green light to play, I'm going with Fisher. Otherwise, if not, um, DJ Taylor, I think, you know, uh, both of them are good quality, uh, Taylor, hmm, I mean, you know, he's, he's good. I've, I've liked what I've seen from him at times. Um, uh, of course I'm going with the Adrian Heath. Uh, you know his his favorite formation. You know the the four two three one, uh, the midfield kind of uh, uh, you know pivot duo of Will Trap and Hassani Dotson. Um, I know uh, I believe Kervin uh, Cur- uh, Ariaga is back. Um, you know, I think that definitely sparked some, as far as, you know, when he came in Ariaga, how he performed uh, in, in, in Philadelphia. And um, people were saying, you know, uh, he was really, thought he was, did really, really good as a, as kind of a, an eight. And, um, you know, they were saying, you know, possibly, you know, maybe drop Ariaga for, for, uh, for, for, for Dotson and, you know, just in case, you know, we have to bring, you know, somebody off on at, at, at half, you know, we can bring Dotson on for a, a, a fullback, especially for, for uh, this game. Because, I mean, Ar- Ariaga, he, he looked, he looked, he really stood out the first, uh, the first game of the season. Um, so, yeah, uh, Will Trap in the, uh, so I went with Will Trap in the number, uh, as playing the number six in the Sonny Dotson as, as the number eight um as far as on the my left of the midfield um uh i'm going with uh franco fregapane um 
you know, he was uh, taken out um, at halftime of uh, the game against Nashville, and I believe he had some, uh, uh, like, ham, uh, kind of hamstring in, uh, in, uh, problem, and so they brought on uh, Bongi instead. I thought Bongi did an incredible, uh, just, you know, incredible job. I really like what I see from him. Um, I think Heath said, you know, um, if, uh, if, you know, if Freya Pane wasn't, uh, you know, completely, you know, fit this, uh, this weekend that, uh, Bongi would be the next one up. And, um, so, and I, I like, but I like what I see from, uh, Freya Pane, um, in the number, uh, in the number, uh, Central Zagging midfield, the number ten position. Of course, it's, it's our number ten, Emmanuel Reno. So, um, like I said, I mean, I'm still, you know, I almost repeat myself every single week. The chances this is, you know, he's able to create is incredible. His vision, um, it's just in, insane to think, you know, we have a player like you know Emmanuel Reno. So, uh, you know, his ability to 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 beat players and all you know and his um also his his free kick ability as well is uh, you know um, amazing um so i went with uh, of course man right also uh in the uh number 10 the uh attack uh central attacking midfield on the right i am uh robin lude uh i'm what can i say this guy when he when we brought him in he just he didn't seem right i think we were really playing we were really playing him out of position playing him kind of as a as a uh playing him on the left where i think he's you know a lot better a lot better on the right and you know um but i think you know since he's come in and you know he started off really really slow and uh you know kind of you know br- broke out um i think two seasons ago last season he was even better this season i mean you know looking he's you know looking even even better and you know it's just you know you just work and you just work and uh hopefully you know he gets uh you know he he performs you know better than he has this year this is his best and then up top, number nine, uh, in the striker position, um, you know, we have players like, you know, um, uh, Don, uh, uh, Don Lottie is back. Of course, we have uh, uh, Udu, um, and then we have uh, Amaria. Um, uh, I went, uh, went with uh, Luis Amaria. I... Uh, even though I feel like he had, I mean, there's been times so far, I mean, it's only been, you know, two games where, you know, he's kind of felt like he, he's, he's been off a little bit as far as, um, just, uh, touches or, 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 or runs. Um, but, um, Oh, you know, when he's, uh, hopefully, you know, he gets back on, on his form and, you know, the kind of the, the striker that, you know, we really, we really want to see. Um, so my, uh, starting 11, um, front to back is Tyler Miller in goal, Chase Gasper at left back, Kai DeBassi and, uh, Michael Boxall's center back partnership, um, O'Neal Fisher, uh, if he's given the green light, if he's good on Sunday to play, would be preferred. If not, uh, DJ Taylor, um, the midfield kind of, uh, uh, you know, double pivot, uh, with, uh, Will Trapp and Hassani Dotson, uh, on the left, uh, Franco Fregapane, the number, uh, playing the number 10 role, uh, Emmanuel Reynoso on the right, Robin Lude. And up top in the striker position, uh, Luis Amaria. As far as uh, my prediction for this game, um, you know, I don't like to give, I don't really like to give out, uh, like, as far as score lines, um, just because I'm, 
it's not because I don't like them. It's just I just can't, you know, I don't, I don't, I tend to never get them right. Um, but uh, as far as this being an Eastern Conference opponent, I think, you know, um, and, you know, we don't really play a lot of, um, don't play many Eastern opponents i think you know we need to go out and and get this get this win um but you know uh i also be happy with you know with the result as long as we don't lose any points um so that pretty much is how i'm you know going into this game hopefully at least we get a result uh, that is going to do it for my match preview uh, for this weekend. Make sure to like the video, comment your predictions on the game, um, subscribe, uh, share, follow uh, my Twitter to keep up with the channel, and come on you loons.